need to start uh, at, at, at the base and say, what is bioenergy? And bioenergy is, is, is really a biofuel uh, made by processing organic waste flows, um, such as organic household uh, and industrial waste, uh, manure or, or, or sewage sludge. Um, and when anaerobic digestion of organic waste occurs, the biogas is emitted in the process uh, and the main comp components, uh, as most of the people will know, uh, are, are methane and, and carbon uh, dioxide. Um, then to make the bioenergy, the methane is separated from the carbon dioxide and, uh, and other critical components and thereafter liquefied. Well, um, this, this process, which is, which is fairly uh, um, very complex, um, uh, increases the energy density 600 times, and thereby it makes it a, a great biofuel, um, yeah, uh, ideally uh, uh, ideal for, for, for uh, the heavy duty and maritime transport. So yeah, as I said, uh, um, looking at where, where will we be able to use it, um, long haul and heavy duty transport and shipping are very obvious. Uh, as you probably know, the European Green Deal requires an, an accelerated transition from fossil energy sources to renewable sources um, and for the long haul transportation sector and the maritime tra uh, transport sector, this re presents a major, major challenge. Um, these sectors, which together are responsible for approximately 12% of global greenhouse gas emissions, 12%, that's it's huge. Um, they are still uh, fairly much dependent on fossil fuels. So second of all, uh, uh, bioenergy can, can be used as an energy storage solution. Uh, I think, uh, again, Chris, you already mentioned some challenges with going to the grid. I think bioenergy, uh, uh, like it's done in the fossil uh, world already with LNG as a, as a peak shaving solution, it's a proven concept, um, uh, but it can also be perfectly used for biomethane production plants whenever grid injection is not possible. Um, and just to give you an idea of the potential, uh, our bioenergy tank in Amsterdam stores around 600 megawatt hours of chemical energy uh, when full, which is, um, well, five times the capacity of the largest battery in the Netherlands, even taking into account conversion losses from chemical to electrical energy. Um, and uh, another application, uh, bioenergy can act as a virtual pipeline, connecting off-grid biomethane production plants to, uh, to the grid. Um, and, and finally, and this is still in the research uh, phase uh, within Nordsol, but I think Paola also mentioned it, is the integration of bioenergy production with biomethanation, uh, taking green hydrogen um, um, and produced by an electrolyzer um, and then convert it into methane using our biogenic CO2. Um, uh, it's then uh, liquefied and then combined with the with the biomethane stream again. Uh, um, uh, this innovation allows uh, uh, us to use our technology for for grid balancing, uh, uh, utilizing excess electricity to produce hydrogen and methane, um, and then again converting stored the stored bioenergy back into electricity when demand peaks. 